can email me now at askwangadi at gmail.com all of your questions. And once we get enough feedback, the first episode will be airing. Can you slow down? Wait a minute, girl, what's the rush now? I wanna introduce myself to you. My name is one on one, got you to prefer now. I like the way you put your fists together. I like the way you do your hair in the morning. I see why all the boys want you, girl. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another the Washington Commanders video, and in today's video, I'm coming on here with some Washington Commanders 2024 draft news. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL, or in this case, our Washington Commanders. We want to roll to 6,000 subscribers again. Thank you. Let's get straight into it, y'all. So. 2024 draft news, man. Uh, the Washington Commanders may be trading back in this year's draft to be in position to draft Caleb Williams out of USC next year? What am I talking about? There it was a report that just came out that, that mentioned that. And uh, my initial reaction was, hmm? Because, yeah, I think the Washington Commanders is going, uh, going to trade back. Or at least they're, they're interested in that. But... I wonder what what, they, what could they possibly be doing to to be in position next year um, to then trade back uh, to be in position to draft Caleb Williams next year because Caleb Williams is a top prospect next year. So I'm thinking you got to be at least top five. So are we trying to trade away multiple picks to move back in this year's draft but then have a draft pick in the first round next year that's going to put us in position to get Caleb Williams like I'm thinking trading away 16 and maybe 47 for somebody's next year's first I don't know and I know that sounds crazy but I'm confused as to how could we possibly be wanting to trade back in this year's draft that's going to help us in next year's draft that's probably why it's better I just shut up and start reading the article now so I can make sense of what I just saw on Bleacher Report now, keep in mind, they said May, okay, so this is just a hypothetical, alright? So, the article says, the Washington Commanders have a major need at quarterback, but currently aren't scheduled to make a selection into number 16 in the first round. So, if they want to get in the mix for one of the top options this year, they, uh, this year's draft, they'll probably have to trade up uh, on the board. But the more likely outcome might be the Commanders moving back to accumulate more draft assets in 2024, namely with USC's Caleb Williams in mind. As the MMQB's uh, Albert Breer reported on Monday, I and most teams would be very surprised if the Commanders took a quarterback to the point where somehow some have speculated the team could possibly move uh, capital into 2024 to be ready for a run at the D.C. area native Williams. You probably have to be the worst team in the league to get him because whoever that team uh, probably won't trade him, uh, trade his rights away. Uh, in other words, Washington fans might want to uh, brace Young themselves uh, for a season or brace themselves for a season of Sam Howell, Jacoby Brissett, and Jake Fromm at quarterback. But hey, the approach ultimately ends with Washington securing the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, sacrificing the season might be worth it. Williams threw 21 touchdowns for 4,537 uh, yards and 42 touchdowns. Sorry, 21. Uh, Caleb Williams was 21, actually. He threw for 4,537 yards, 42 touchdowns, and just five interceptions in 2022 with a completion rating of 66.6% .6 of his passes. The issue is that the Commanders likely won't be alone in the desire for Williams. The quarterback position has been a major need for the Commanders since Robert Griffin, the third, briefly locked the star spot early in his career. It's fair to argue that the position hasn't been uh, adequately or consistently settled to for the organization since the Mark Rippon days or even as far as back as Joe Theismann. So if the Commanders have to wait another year to do so, it won't be anything new. Okay, so... I just read the article, and this is my live reaction because, again, like I said, I just saw the title and jumped right on with you guys. I wanted to spread this news to you to see how you feel. First of all, they didn't even mention Sam Howell being the guy. 
They didn't, they just they just brushed over Sam Howell, and that's the thing. That's the thing. They think Sam Howe is just an ordinary fifth round pick. They don't know. They didn't mention Sam Howe's uh, college career and how we how he looked coming out of North Carolina and what he did in the preseason in that Cowboys game. They just think he's gonna fit right into the other Washington quarterbacks that may fall by the wayside. And that that is a possibility. At least mention that the Washington Commanders is interested in letting Sam Howe be the starter this year and allowing him to see what he has because again if Washington finds a way to finally hit on a quarterback like Sam Howe we're finally out of the quarterback wilderness and we didn't even we didn't even spend a first round pick on this guy again Sam Howe in any other draft class would have probably went second round maybe even first so I have faith in Sam Howe and this is what this is what that article really means to me is that they're sleeping on Sam Howell. And, I, and I'm not saying you should, like, you should be saying, oh, Sam Howell's going to be that dude, be that dude, be that dude. But what I'm saying is they're sleeping on him because they already have us in a running for Caleb Williams. Just, so what that means is that they think we're going to be terrible this year. They think we're going to be bad. And we got to wake them up, ladies and gentlemen, because, again, unless we really, because I think we are going to trade back, uh, at least it's a strong possibility, but if you could honestly sit there out there and tell me a scenario where Washington could trade back in this year's draft that will help them be in a position to draft Caleb Williams next year, please let me know. Maybe what am I missing? Because the only way I see them being in the run of the trade for I me mean, um to get Caleb Williams next year is if they're if we're bad. And yeah, that's a possibility. That's where I, that's my that's what's my two uh two scenarios. Either Sam Howe's gonna be the guy and he's gonna be the future. Or he's, or we're gonna be really bad next year. To we're gonna be in a run in the game, Caleb Williams, and that's the only way I see that we uh, get him. I don't see Sam Howe being mediocre. I don't see Sam Howe being a Taylor Heineke or Carson Wentz. Because if the, if if he's seven and nine Wentz or or Heineke and eight and eight and all that, bro, eight, eight and one, we are going to be in another sixteenth overall, fifteen overall, eleven overall pick, man. And that's the worst case scenario because you're not too bad to where you can get a top pick, but you're not too good to where you made it to the playoffs and made a significant push to a Lombardi. A Lombardi. So that is the worst case scenario, and I don't see that for Sam Howell, bro. I really don't, man. I, I think he has a strong chance to be the guy. We just gotta hit on this draft and on this draft uh, uh, come Thursday, man. We gotta continue to build around him, get some linemen to help him. Um, you know, maybe get a get another another tight end or something, an actual tight end that we that we uh get excited about. You know, build this defense up, add another piece of the secondary, make him as comfortable as as possible. Ron Rivera, this is what you wanted, right? You wanted to follow the Buffalo Bills, Seattle Seahawks kind of a uh, wave where you build the team up and then you drop the quarterback right in the middle. This is the year that you're going to get able to be able to do that. You already building this team up. This team is pretty talented, bro. I think we actually can compete for something. And I felt like that last year. That's why I was so excited about last year, man. Um, because I genuinely felt like we could actually do something. We just needed a quarterback. And obviously, I was skeptical about the Carson Wentz trade. And, and uh, looking back on it, I had all right to be skeptical about it. But... I kind of, after that week one performance, I feel like, okay, we may finally have a quarterback, bro. And and the, the team is pretty much the same. It's only going to get better with adding these guys to the draft class. Jahan Dawson is going to be another year in the system. Um, all these other rookies from last year. So we're just going to be adding more talent around Sam Howell, bro. And I really think he has a strong possibility and chance to be the guy, man. And, and I'm hoping and praying that he is, bro. So... Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section down below. They say Washington could be trading, trading back in this year's draft to recuperate some draft capital that's going to help them push for Caleb Williams next year in the 2024 draft. Let me know what y'all think about that. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti, like, comment, subscribe, Hills of the Washington Commanders. One of the 6,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. See you guys later. Peace. Uh, cost me one time, that's gonna get you pop, get you pop, uh, get you drop, uh.